my name is Shalnika and I'm a student nurse at CSC Stanislaw and today we're going to be going over the digestive system, how we make poo. So we're going to do a simulation through a fun way on how poo is made. So let's say on a regular Tuesday afternoon, you're going to go ahead and get some animal crackers because you're hungry. So here's your mouth and here's your teeth. These scissors will represent the teeth. And you're just going to be crunching, crunching, crunching these yummy, yummy animal crackers. So that's what we're going to first do. I'm going to eat some more. Eat a lot because it's so yummy. Alright, so after we're done eating some animal crackers, maybe we'll eat some cereal because why not? And then we have some coffee or chocolate milk that we drink that we're adding in there in our mouth. Just go ahead and putting it all in there. So once we have all of this food in our mouth, what happens is that our mouth releases enzymes that will break down the carbs and the fats inside. So that includes amylase, and that also includes lingual lipase. So once we have that, we're gonna go ahead and crush it using our back molars. Molars. So we're going to go ahead and crush. And as we're crushing, we have some more saliva that is being released, you know, and then also getting it kind of wet in there. Okay, so we continue crushing. And then we're going to add some more saliva a bit because there's so much food in our mouth, so the saliva also helps downbreak the food. Move that off, like so you kind of move around your tongue. Get some more, make sure you crush all of it. you should have something like this in your mouth currently. Okay, so once you've crushed down all of your food in your mouth, next we're gonna go ahead and it, once you swallow it, it's gonna go down your esophagus and go inside your stomach. This Ziploc bag will represent our stomach. So, what's gonna happen is that when you swallow, it's going to go fall all the way down into your stomach. Not just remove. Now, once it's in the stomach, you know, you're feeling kind of full. So what happens is that your stomach releases more enzymes that will help break down the food and also um, take out any bacteria that could be in there. So the enzymes that we use in the stomach is protease, stomach acid, and pepsin. So once again, these are enzymes and acid that helps break down the food even more and also remove any bacteria. So as it's sitting in your stomach and all of these enzymes are being released, you know, it's gonna go ahead and absorb. Once that's done in the stomach, uh, we have, we move on to the small intestine. So with the small intestine, after everything's done in here. Okay, now the contents of the stomach is moving into our small intestine. Okay, so open this up. Then this stuff's gonna go inside. Yeah, it seems a little bit messy and everything. That's okay. So now that it's in the small intestine, what happens is that more enzymes are released. And 
These enzymes include bile, so that goes inside the small intestine. These fluids and liquids are getting drained out, and I'm going to do this now over the trash can, but amylase is another enzyme used inside the small intestine. And finally, you have pancre pancreatic lipase, which goes inside as well. So in the small intestine, at this moment, more enzymes are going there to break down carbs and fat, and it's also draining any nutrients and some liquid. So whatever it's coming out, it's being absorbed back into the body. So that's where you get all your nutrients from, in the small intestine. So then, kind of just wait a bit for all of the liquid and fluids to kind of drain out. So once it goes through this stage in the small intestine, it's going to go ahead and go into the large intestine. So over here in this long yellow towel, that will act as our large intestine and you'll see why and how. So at this point, you have, here I'm going to just dump it out, lovely stuff. You have now the food in your large intestine. So when you have that, what usually happens in the large intestine, it's going to, I'm going to roll it up like a hot dog, like that, and compress it. So this is your large intestine. It's going through, you squeeze, it will be absorbing any more liquid. So like this towel, it's absorbing any more last fluids it may have, just keeping it in there, and also going down, down, and down further in your body. So it's just wringing it and wringing it. You guys can't really see it, but or feel it, but the towel is pretty moist because it's soaking up any more moisture left. So it's just doing that, twisting, and moving through the small intestine and going through there and it's also absorbing any sodium and potassium. Okay, now it will travel into the anus. So we have, this is pretty big for an anus, this is not true to size. Okay, putting that out there first. So what happens is small intestine. We'll unroll it. See how it's all dry now. That's what it looks like inside. I know, pretty beautiful sight. Just trying to get it out. Whatever can be pushed out of the small intestine into the anus goes here. Okay, so now you have your digestive food in the um, anus and you have to go to the bathroom. You get that feeling. And then, when you go, you come out with poop. That is your poop now coming out. And that is how your body makes poop. Right. And then, your result. Poop. And that is the end of our experiment. Thank you for watching.